very much, uh, Minister Wilson, for your kind introduction. And I'm definitely a champion of your own spirit. I love this province. So digitalization and globalization are bringing tremendous opportunities with billions of devices connected to the Internet of Things. The World Economic Forum estimates that $100 trillion of value will be created through digitalization. But this is also bringing vulnerabilities in form of cybersecurity threats. So we see that more and more critical infrastructure, and I mean power grids, banks, healthcare systems, are being targeted by cyber attacks. The costs of cyber attacks to the global economy are estimated to be $600 billion, and that's one percent of the global GDP. So although there has been good progress made when it comes to the cyber security of information technologies, uh, which we say cyber IT or IT cyber security, there's a lot of work still to be done to protect the critical infrastructure. Uh, and that's what we call the cyber security of operational technologies or OT cyber security. So Siemens is committed to developing solutions for cyber security of critical infrastructure. We are founding members of the Charter of Trust, which is a powerful global initiative. It's just like-minded companies coming together, like Cisco, like Airbus, and we have committed ourselves to create all our future product, products and systems following stringent cybersecurity principles. So it's not mandated on us, it's our own decision. These companies say we will go to the highest cybersecurity standards. So last year, as you mentioned, uh, we announced that Siemens will put the global center of cybersecurity here in Fredericton. And, and the cybersecurity center is housed in the Knowledge Park. And this center will develop softwares, protocols, and mechanisms to protect the critical infrastructure. So I must say this opening of the cyber center was made possible by Opportunities New Brunswick. Uh, and of course, our own global headquarters is also investing a lot of money here. So I'd like to take the opportunity to thank OMB for, for your support here. So we announced uh, this center will have two phases. The first phase is about launching the center of competence and then hiring up to 30 highly skilled specialists who will work for critical infrastructure. And then as early as 2020, we will then go late 2020, double the numbers of cybersecurity experts here in Fredericton. Uh, so I'm today really pleased to announce that we are fully on track uh, with, the, with the rollout of our project. Uh, in fact, we have today's six uh, highly ex uh, specialized experts, and we plan to number uh, triple the number by the end of the year. So it's all on track, and we are looking forward to growing this uh, this center uh, in the coming years. So lastly, I would like to say that Siemens Canada uh, feels we are very fortunate to be part of this vibrant ecosystem, uh, which is here in New Brunswick. The cross collaboration between public, private, and academic is something we all really can be very proud of because this allows innovation to flourish and it is the to fostering a strong future for our next generations. So these innovations will not only support New Brunswick, Atlantic Canada and Canada, but we will export these solutions to protect critical infrastructure around the world. So we will make a mark at the global stage out of Frederick. So now it's my privilege and honor to welcome Dr. Ali Gurbani. Uh, Dr. Gurbani has held a variety of positions in academia for the past 37 years and is currently a professor of computer science, tier one Canada research chair in cybersecurity and the director of the Canadian <coughs> Institute of Cybersecurity. Dr. Gurbani is also the founding director of the Lab for Intelligent and Adaptive System Research he has spent over 27 years of his 37-year academic career carrying out both fundamental and applied research in the area of cybersecurity, machine learning, and web intelligence. His current research focus is on cybersecurity, web intelligence, and protection of critical infrastructure. So please help me in welcoming Dr. Enrico Bayer.